Hey everybody, Derek here from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ, one bite at a time. Uh, today I want to focus on just a couple of verses I thought were very interesting and very applicable to our day. Uh, Enoch, as he's being brought up into heaven, he's just like, hey, there's other people down there and they're struggling. Um, is there a time where you are going to come back and help them out as well as he's speaking to the Lord? Well, you go into verse 59 where Enoch says, wilt thou not come again upon the earth for as much as thou art God and I know thee and thou hast sworn unto me and commanded me that I should ask in the name of thine only begotten thou hast made me given unto me a right to thy throne and not of myself but through thine own grace that's a great statement wherefore I ask thee if thou wilt not come again on the earth and the Lord said unto Enoch even as I live even so will I come in the last days in the days of wickedness and vengeance to fulfill the oath which I have made unto you concerning the children of Noah and the day shall come that the earth shall rest. That's a great statement. <laughs> right now, our earth is tired. Our earth is, <laughs> all of a sudden, the Lord's like, yep, the earth's going to rest. Don't worry. But before that day, the heavens shall be darkened. The veil of darkness shall cover the earth. The heavens shall shake and also the earth and great tribulations shall be among the children of men, which we're watching that stuff going on right now. But my people will I preserve. Now that's a cool statement. Um, I'm gonna preserve my people, those who have made covenants with me, those who are doing their best to keep the commandments. I'm gonna preserve these people. And righteousness, here's where a cool statement is. Righteousness will I send down out of heaven and truth will I send forth out of the earth to bear testimony of mine only begotten, his resurrection from the dead, yea, also the resurrection of all men and righteousness and truth will I cause to sweep the earth as with a flood to gather out mine elect from the four quarters of the earth unto a place which I shall prepare and holy city that my people may gird up their loins and be looking forth for the time of my coming for there shall be my tabernacle and it shall be called Zion a new Jerusalem so you got Zion of old city of Enoch and you got the Lord with Zion the new Jerusalem you got these two groups of individuals and one of the things with this verse 62 and I've mentioned this before many of you might be familiar with this Elder Bednar back in 2014 used this verse as a fulfillment of prophecy and he talked about social media he talked about how taking righteousness and sweeping the earth with a flood. He used the example of the uh, the ice bucket challenge. I don't know if you guys remember that for uh, ALS research. Um, for a very short period of time, there were people dumping ice all over themselves. Maybe you were one who did that. And that thing swept the earth like crazy and it caused um, awareness and it caused all kinds of things. But it kind of came and went. It had its 15 minutes of fame. Granted, it did amazing things for awareness and research and it raised a lot of money but it came and went and here's elder bednar who said look we can use social media for good a constant steady stream of righteousness in a world that is completely and totally hopeless at times um, in the come follow me curriculum it says this it says as your family reads moses 7 59 to 67 which we just started that try marking or noting things that lord tells enoch about the last days for example god will gather out his elect and i really do believe social media if it is done correctly can be a great gatherer of the elect it really can um, you see how the brethren have got social media uh, accounts, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things. And there's messages that are shared there to help gather. And it goes to a large group of people. That is one of the main reasons that our business exists is to help share. Now, granted, we've got awesome socks. I totally get that. They're so comfortable. However, we also want to share the goodness of the gospel of Jesus Christ through our products. This is our way of doing that in a very kind of unique and fun way. But we also want to join in with that uh, effort of gathering Israel and bringing people in and help sharing that gospel message in a world that is filled with, like it said, great tribulations among the children of men. We want to be able to build goodness. I think I think that's what the brethren want us to do. Coming back to this, uh, this Come Follow Me, how can we have faith and hope? 
hope despite the wickedness in the last days. As part of this discussion, consider reading these words from Elder Ronald A. Rasban. Take heart, brothers and sisters. Yes, we live in perilous times, but as we stay on the covenant path, we need not fear. I bless you that as you do so, you will not be troubled by the times in which we live or the troubles that come your way. I bless you to choose to stand in holy places and be not moved. I bless you to believe in the promises of Jesus Christ, that he lives and that he is watching over us, caring for us, and standing by us. So I know that as we watch General Conference and as we listen to the words of the brethren, it is very hopeful. They know that we live in a crazy world. They get that, but they want us to focus on Jesus Christ. Whether that's sweeping the earth with a flood of goodness on social media, which can be done and I really think can be a blessing to people, people's lives. Um, when you get to verse 63, this is kind of a cool little thing. When you get these two Zion groups, the Zion, the New Jerusalem of our day that's been trying our best to be able to build up, and you got the city of Enoch back in the day. Uh, verse 63, the Lord said unto Enoch, then, meaning at this time of the New Jerusalem, thou shalt and thy city meet them there, them being Zion, the new Jerusalem, and we will receive them into our bosom and they shall see us and we will fall upon their necks and they shall fall upon our necks and we will kiss each other. Meaning we're going to see them and we're going to be like, hey, hey, you guys went through a rough time. So did you. Boom, and we have that connection, the Zion connection. I love that. Well, you go down to 66 and 67, but before that day, he saw great tribulations among the wicked, and he also saw the sea that it was troubled and men's hearts failing them looking forth with fear. I, we see that all the time. Men's hearts failing them because you're looking with fear. As you are looking with fear, your hearts are always going to fail you. That's going to happen. Uh, for the judgments of the Almighty God, which shall come upon the wicked. But verse 67, the Lord showed Enoch all things, even unto the end of the world, and he saw the day of the righteous, the hour of their redemption, and the fullness of joy. And so uh, as we focus less on fear, and we focus more on the joy of redemption and the goodness that's out there, take time to really focus on the goodness. If you're looking for fear, you're gonna find that and it's out there. All you gotta do, scroll social media and you're gonna see a lot of fear. So be one of the ones that shares the goodness and the, and the good things that are out there. Don't engender fear, engender hope. And I think that's what these messages are about. Sweeping that earth is what we've been asked to do. So uh, may we do that. And I hope that you'll uh, continue to do that as well, many of you out there. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and thanks for sharing these messages. We love that. Go check out our amazing gospel theme socks at bombsocks.com and help us in our endeavors to be able to share that goodness with the world. Thanks guys. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Godspeed. Bye-bye.